Hi, and welcome to another episode of Starship Gaming. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications of when we release more awesome videos. Now today, I am going to, well, unofficially begin my uh, review of PS1 games. All throughout April, I am going to review um, all of my reviews. Um, well, not all of them, some of them, most of them. Anyway, I'm going to declare April PS1 month, and all of April I am going to review the best and the worst uh, that the PS1 has to offer. <laughs> so I decided I'm going to start with this title, Aces of the Air. Now, Aces of the Air was a budget title uh, released by H-Tech in 2002, and... Uh, yeah, it, it definitely shows. <laughs> the game, more or less, was made to capitalize on the popularity of combat simulators and flight simulators um, in the early 2000s. Um, for the flight simulator part, a lot of it started gaining popularity shortly after the release of Flight Simulator 98, more specifically Microsoft Flight Simulator 98. And of course, the uh, combat side of it, you could say, pretty much came from uh, Ace Combat. Um, a lot of games that came out at the time, they tried to emulate the success of the Ace Combat series. Which, I guess that's probably where the name derived from. Ace Combat, Aces of the Air, hmm, I sense a shameless ripoff here. Let's continue. Of course, the difference between the two is that you have a lot of World War II-era uh, vehicles. Or, I should say, planes. <laughs> now, I shouldn't have to explain to you how a flight simulator, a combat simulator on PS1 works. You just pretty much use your controller. <laughs> I shouldn't have to explain that. But, for a game that came out in 2002, especially for a PS1 game, um... The graphics are a little lackluster. I mean, they're not bad, per se, for the era, but if you take this title and compare it to, oh, I don't know, Ace Combat 2, Ace Combat 2 came out several years. Well, I think about five years, roughly. Yeah, four or five years, whatever. <laughs> um... Eh, yeah, I think it's about five years, yeah. Well, anyway, Ace Combat 2, if you compare the graphics of it and then compare it to this game, Ace Combat 2 looks a hell of a lot better. Of course, this is a budget title. What could you expect? <laughs> These things were basically shovelware. They were just shoved out on the market in hopes that, you know, somebody would buy them, which... You know, a lot of people did. Um, this was around the time that um, PS2 was starting to get a grip on the market. It, j it had just been released less than two years before. And, uh, you know, the PS1 was still uh, widely supported throughout um, 2001. And all of 2002, for the most part, near the end of 2002 is when... Um, as a consumer, this is from personal experience, I started noticing there were less space in stores dedicated to PS1. They were starting to um, force all the, the old hardware and games out. And the only thing that you really saw left remaining on the shelf was these budget slash shovelware titles. And you could find these titles well into 2004. Um in a lot of these stores unless you were me and you did a lot of your shopping at like discount places for example uh, and some of you may remember this department store there was a department store um, about 10-15 minutes away called Value City and they sold you know a lot of uh, I don't know what to compare them to they're kind of like big lots they're kind of like how Big Lots is, or uh, Ollie's, 
I don't know if you've ever heard of Ollie's, but they were similar to that, but they were a, a department store, and they had a setup very similar to to a Kmart almost. Maybe that's not a good analogy to use since Kmart is almost virtually gone in itself as of this recording. <laughs> but they had a uh, glass shelf up near the front of the store um, that you could walk over to. And it had games hanging inside. I remember seeing uh, this title, uh, Aces of the Air specifically remember that and then a bunch of them like one was just called card games for ps1 but they literally had nothing but and this was like 2004 2005 they had ps1 games they had a whole case dedicated to ps1 games and then down in the corner they had the lonely little corner that had like a crap ton of copies of some old Sega Genesis games, new old stock, um, like NHL 95, and I think they had some copies of like Madden 96, sealed, <laughs> and they were copies that they had from years before that nobody hardly bought them, and they were still in that case, and what's interesting is those were still in that case up until around late 2007 and then they all just mysteriously disappeared i don't know if they like threw them away or if somebody actually came in and bought them all or what i i don't know what happened there but they were only selling them for like 4.99 and their ps1 games were like 9.99 anyway i'm getting way off topic here i'll save that for another day <laughs> i mean other than the poor graphics the game is actually somewhat solid um, as a combat simulator, it's mildly solid. I mean, it's not as good as some that you would play on a PC in terms of, I guess you could say, World War II type deals. <laughs> or, um, you know... Well, when I say some that you may play, I'm talking about of that era up until like circa 2003, 2004, as far back as like 95 or 96, you know. I hope you understand, <laughs> but it's, um, it's actually decently solid, uh, and the controls are actually, they're decent. I mean, for a budget title, you wouldn't think they were, but they actually are. But I have to say, you do have to give it a try. If you enjoy, um, combat flight simulators or flight simulators in general, uh, pick the pick a copy of this up. Um, you could get copies online anywhere between five ninety nine and nine ninety nine. Um, you know, it's not a super rare game. It's it's aces of the air. <laughs> but uh, yeah, give it a try. You may like it. Uh, but I only recommend it if you like flight combat simulators. Uh, if you don't, then this isn't the title for you. So, I am going to introduce a scale, <laughs> a rating scale. I'm only going to use this rating scale for PS1 games for now. Between 1 and 5 stars. 5 being the best, 1 being the worst. So, Aces of the Air, drumroll please, <laughs> is only going to get a 2. It's not the worst game in the world, but... It's not enjoyable. It's very repetitive. It's a game you'll only like if you like flight combat simulators. Um, it has no... I mean, the graphics are, are horrible compared to some of the other games uh, of the time. Uh, and it is a budget title. And it is shovelware. So it doesn't have that going for it. So uh, that's my rating for Aces of the Air. Um... Tell me in the comments down below, have you played this game before? What did you think about it? Let me know. And of course, if you have another PS1 game you would like me to review, um, you know, I'm only going to review <laughs> a majority of them during March, April 2020. So get your comments in for this now, because after April, I will not be reviewing... <laughs> any of the games that are mentioned in the comments so get those in now if you want to see me review that game possibly
(laughs) So let me know. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications of when we release more awesome videos. And until next time, I will see you.